Houston Station on Space to Ground. Around and around and around it goes. Welcome to Space to Ground, I'm Dan Hewitt. The station passed another milestone this week with its 100,000th orbit. In the 17 years since the first module Zarya launched back in November 1998, the station has traveled the distance of over 2.6 billion miles, which is almost the distance between the Earth and Neptune. For another idea of the distance, that's the equivalent of about 10 round trips to Mars. In that time, more than 1,900 experiments have taken place and 222 people have either lived there or visited. A whole fleet of satellites shot away from the station this week to study the Earth below. 17 CubeSats were deployed from outside of the Japanese Kibo module for a range of missions. Among them were two from colleges studying Earth's atmosphere and even the first CubeSat built by elementary school students, courtesy of St. Thomas More Cathedral School. Also deployed were NASA's Node satellites studying space communication networks, more Planet Lab's Dove satellites to image the Earth, and four Lemur satellites that will track ships on the ocean and provide weather data. This week, Hoboken Catholic Academy's seventh grade class wants to know how the airlock works to get in and out of the ISS for spacewalks. Well, class, it's as simple as pulling air out or putting it back in. When astronauts are ready to go outside, a series of pumps suck out the air inside of the airlock and store it in a set of tanks. This makes the inside of the airlock close to being a vacuum where there is no air pressure, just like space, so it's possible to open the outer hatch safely. Once the crew comes back in and the hatch is resealed, the air gets pushed back in from those tanks, bringing the airlock back to the same pressure as the rest of the station. Keep sending us your questions using the hashtag space to ground. We'll see you next week.